Gary, from looking you up online, I know a big thing for you is not accepting the word no. And, and it, 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 thank goodness, it seems like a lot of things have come your way by you continuing to push forward. When should someone actually accept that word? Is there, is there a number well, of times? I, I, let's define our terms. I'm not sure that one should ever accept the word no. I, I, I really mean that. It's in, it, I, I, I once gave a talk, the title of which was, No is Just a Conversation Starter. And that's really what I believe it to be. When someone says no to me, I haven't done my job. It's a clue. I should tell a more persuasive story, take a deeper cut, knock on more doors. There's something I'm not doing to get the yes. And they're helping me by saying, you're not there yet. That's exactly how I view a no. In the film industry, your life is all about no. You get no's, yeah, I'm not telling anyone anything they don't know. They've all experienced this, we all experience it. And at times it feels very harsh and personal and, and, and defeating. But I really don't, I, I don't want to waste my time uh, feeling blue about people not lining up behind me. It just, every, every time I hear a no, it, it just incites me to push harder and be better and, and speak more uh, crisply and authentically. So you can't say no. If I can be undeniable, that, that's my job, that's all of our job, is, is to tell people who we really are, why we really want what we want. Uh, it's not just a script, for God's sakes. This is a story that needs to be told. I'm the only one who can do it. This is why, this is the team I've assembled, whatever it is. Um, so, and, and, and my gosh, for every film that I've gotten produced, there are so many dead projects on the floor that ultimately did die. But if I took no for an answer, I'd never produce a film. We've always heard that a hallmark of a great entrepreneur is being irritated by the fact that someone would tell them they can't do something because it lights a fire in them. Is there a way to do it without that negative sort of, oh, I'll show them? Or maybe that's a good thing. I don't think it's negative. Um, I'm a very stubborn individual. And I used to think that uh, there, were, there were traits that I always thought, hmm, that could be negative, but it's not. A great friend of mine, a brilliant businessman, long ago, very successful, taught me that, that you need your PhD, pig-headed determination, right? And it's true. Well, there's a balance, okay. you know, because there, there can be, if, if you're driven that way, I mean, you shouldn't want to do a thing just to make other people wrong. You should want to do it because it's that important to you. You do have to listen. You have to understand the difference between valuable feedback or critique and someone who's just not getting the vision. And if you get, if you get, yeah, I, I get a lot of no's where I don't hear the no, but I do hear, oh my God, that was a great piece of insight. That was a great bit of advice. Or they so totally didn't see what I was getting at here. I better tweak that piece. So yeah, there, there's a lot of learning in there. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't think you stay stubborn just to be stubborn. I think it's because you really believe in something. And there are enough people who also see what you see that you're not just dreaming.